Uh, we're back with another Pink Ultra Presents and I've got a co-pilot today. What's happening? The way in the house. Today we have got a very special guest. Is this really guest. bad? You remind me of KSI. <laughs> <laughs> Proper like, honestly. Crazy. Today we've got a very oh, special guest, Stefan Pierre Tomlin, Mr. Tinder. Yep, Welcome. Yep, yep. Uh, How are you? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah, <laughs> good to see you. Not bad. Good to see you too. Good man. to see you, my brother. You're you good. Nice so nice. yeah, welcome to Pink Presents. Um, we Thanks are going to get to know you a little bit. Sweet. And I think the first thing is I've got, I had loads of questions on the way here yeah. uh, that I was going to do before we hit the cameras. Oh, you've got a proper list, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. well, <laughs> it's all good. It's good. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm no, ready. Listen, get ready. <laughs> yeah, man. But, um, so ready. doing the yeah. research, obviously I met you through a um, mutual friend of ours, Tim. <laughs> Is in there. No way. My mate is in there Call now. Him. Call him. Sh been on the show before. Oh yeah. So and, I watched um, that. In yes. the uh, go boats and stuff. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Written in the stars, and um, he actually came to our, our party. Yeah, and that's right. Yeah. Then we started looking into you, right. and your Instagram feed is it's wild, vibrant. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's, yeah mixed up. You've like, had some amazing somewhere. experiences. Yeah. So you're Thanks. a model. By a model. Was that the first thing that? Yeah, fashion model for 15 years. Wow. I signed. I used to work for Abercrombie and Fitch. Did you? That's oh, where it started. Abercrombie boy. Abercrombie. Oh, yeah. that, that, was, that was the dream yeah, job. Yeah, shirtless on the door, man. The oh. pictures, that was Bastard. That's, that's what it, I that's, wanted that's, to that's, do. They were the days. They were the days. Yeah. And then th that, so that started your whole career into... Yeah, what? pretty much. And I got uh, scouted uh, from there yeah. by Elite and MOT. Um, wow. So, yeah. So, How old were you? 17, I think it was. Six, yeah. 17, yeah. Insane. Wow. So yeah. You've, been, you've been on these streets for a while. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The veteran. <laughs> Basically, yeah. yeah. And how was yeah. that? So from that, what? Just run me through yeah, so, um, from there till now. I actually worked in Hamley's, a toy shop. Um, oh, funny enough, so I was one of the demonstrators, mm. um, and that sort of gave me my like salesy demonstrators. Oh, nice. yeah. And I remember I was on lunch uh, one day, walked mm. up uh, Regent Street, went to Oxford Circus for lunch or something, yeah. and that's where Abercrombie and Fitch scouted me. The first thing I said is like, I don't want to work there because I hate my feet, and they wear sandals. But they actually <laughs> changed it around so I could wear Converse. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So that's where it came from. So you were the special. It was like, trainer. no, calm down, calm down. We want, we want to. They really want to do audition. Yeah. So then. I think Converse are way better as well. Sorry? Converse look Conver quite yeah, 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 I'm out. Yeah, I'm not really a sandal man. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No. What about you? Man. What about no, you? Are you a no, sandal no. fan? I don't think I could wear them no. and ever have sex again. No. <laughs> it's not even about that. My feet curl up. Oh, yeah. Fucking each. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think it would be... <laughs> yeah, so you did that and then you were scouted Abercrombie and then moved into Yeah, done a bit of TV, so I remember going on a stupid show called Pants Off Dance Off. <laughs> that was on MTV, <laughs> yeah. Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Then, so um, you were used to having your kit off? Yeah, well, well, that's where it started. It was quite <laughs> yeah, embarrassing, yeah, yeah. to be honest. Back in the day, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was super embarrassing, but um, yeah, got that out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, I was on uh, Stacey Solomon Love Machine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was on Sky. That was cool. You go around in a wheel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was but say. for some reason, I've done nine dating shows. I think that was ridiculous. Nine? Nine dating shows. Oh, that's why I wanted him to get yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly. Like, like, yeah, I don't know why they keep asking me to do dating shows. Well, I yeah. mean, it's, it's fitting for what we'll move on to talking about what you're doing now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what was yeah, the first one? By the way, for viewers, Stacey Solomon, have you heard of it? I've never heard of a guy. I'm South African, by the way. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. So she's Talking like one business. of England's, she's almost like England's sweetheart. Like she's just this very lovely, like, oh, hello, my name's Stacey yeah. Solomon. She yeah. got famous from uh, The X Factor. The X Factor. Yeah, yeah. she's got an amazing yeah. voice. And then she got her own spin off. Yeah. No, no well, The X Factor is obviously an uh, entertainment show. Yes, 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 yes. But sure. The Love Machine was a dating show where you have like six people go around in a wall and you got they got a match. Well, one thing yeah. with the, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the host of the show. She's the host. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So Love Machine. By the way, do you want to drink? Yeah, I'd love one. Do you want? Um, I think I'll go for. Yeah, I'm feeling chocolatey today. Cool. Be <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. man. We've got, uh, <laughs> niche cocktails. Niche cocktails are our sponsor. They are epic cocktails. We love you, niche. Delicious, yeah. amazing cocktails. Coming. Come in the most ridiculously awesome flavors. Oh, this is going to be a perfect pour. My more, fridge needs pour, some niche Yeah, cocktails. we should talk as well because I've got an I've got a recipe for a special cocktail that I made on the Virgin Cruise uh, last year. Really? I, I basically spent two weeks with this mixologist and he got to know me and we made my own cocktail. And then I had, and then Ish, I gave. Are you listening? Then we had, then I had breakfast with Richard Branson and told him about it. So I'm trying to get that recipe Richard on the Branson. Virgin Cruise. That's yeah, where man. the photo goes viral. I love how you just 
work that in there and then you continue speaking. No, no, I had yeah, a casual yeah. breakfast with Richard Branson. Yeah, but anyway, no. how was your Tuesday? What? Yeah, I was actually, uh, I was saying to V-Way, I was like, uh, I don't want to um, pre-plan the conversation here oh, yeah, because yeah. I knew this is going to, we were like, right, there's Richard Branson on your right, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, no, he's Man, called, I mean, he's called Idol. Really? Yeah. And, and then, I mean, how was that experience? Mm. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, because um, when I was younger, my birthday's on, well, my birthday is on the 4th of July. Okay. So when I was younger, my mum used to fly me on Virgin Atlantic. Yeah. And when I got to America, it's obviously it's Independence Day. Mm. Yeah. So I always thought, you know, like, I, they were celebrating my birthday. <laughs> So I basically had like the two fairy, I had Father Christmas, and then finding out that like, the whole of America were, seven yeah, yeah, that wasn't for me. So, That's yeah. amazing. What um, I mean, I mean, but yeah, he's yeah, been my idol serious. because of Virgin Atlantic. He's a good yeah. So going back to uh, going back to the dating stuff. So yeah. the first date. What's the second dating show? What was it? <laughs> well, he's not I've done sele- I've done first dates. That I was on. I was on the first cast of uh, first dates. Oh, so I'm you? on um, season one, episode two. So you know Fred. That was before Fred. Yeah. Fred didn't even exist when I was on it. Uh, like we were the pilot. Yeah. yeah Amazing. So, so did, would you? I mean, could you do any more dating shows? No, no. I think I'm done with that. Too. Nice. Yeah. Was it not written on, um, in the stars? I'm, I'm actually. I'm, I'm more like. Sorry, say it again. I just asked. Was it not written in the stars? All oh, right. Ah. <laughs> boom boom. <laughs> I see you done there. I see you done there. No, that show was wicked because um, yeah, it's basically a cheat that. sheet, like. Astrology, I didn't believe in it to be honest, but me too, bro. Really? Nah, oh, <laughs> I didn't believe I don't in it. Believe in I didn't believe in astrology. All zodiac signs, yeah. all that shit. We don't have any of that shit in Africa, right? It's yeah, rubbish. You do. There's stars all over the world. You know what I mean, man? I mean, <laughs> yeah. It all goes on like the charts, so like, you know, the rising yeah. sun, the Venus, and all that stuff. It's not like your core star sign, but having astrologers on the show really taught me about myself. It's oh, like really? a cheat sheet, it's like a secret tool to life, do you know? I mean, yeah, no, I think um, you're right. Like I did, I did get certain elements out of it. Oh, because that's one thing I noticed about you on the show is you, uh, you did absorb you it. Bought into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so if I can ask, is there a difference between zodiac signs and the other one, which is the the Taurus? What's that called? Yeah, she was a Taurus. I actually. think they're both right. make believe, aren't they? No. <laughs> Eleven, eleven. He can't make a wish. But my point is, that, is it not uh, the, the zodiac signs? Then what's the other one? There's two types, right? No, I don't know about that. I mean, I'm the wrong person. Oh, Siri. Hey no, Siri. The, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, because I know there's like goats and dragons in the one, and then the other one is that's just the, the normal. That's the, the Chinese star. Oh, the Chinese, the Chinese oh, chart, I think. No, no, I think so. Yeah, you've got the dragon at the top that's and the I horse. Mean, yeah, yeah so I think I'm a horse in the, the Chinese chart. There's just yeah. I mean, yo, you, you know your stuff, my brother. Yeah, well, I can't How was the experience? I, I know the stupidest thing. Like, if you ask me something, I'll probably know it. <laughs> I, I, I remember the weirdest stuff. I've got like, a good one. Facts that. Good fact, fun fact. This is uh, I stole this from James Smith, but if you put a mirror 65 Five million light years away in space, and you were able to look into it, you'd see the dinosaurs. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Cool fact. But it? how would you get and it off? Harry well, Potter. I mean, it's not possible. <laughs> it's yeah. really it's really not possible. And Harry Potter is real. Yeah. So how was the experience? Relaxed, Tell me about the experience. So, oh, were, do you know? Can I say something? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go on your phone, hey Siri, Luma or Luna, it, it actually turns the torch on. It does. Isn't it? That's Let's quite cool. It. Hey Siri, Luna. No. Cool. Just cool. um, So yeah, written in the stars. Tell me about that process, because I think a lot of people are always interested in how it comes about, how you get on yeah, something like that. All oh, right. Yeah. So I was scouting, but I wouldn't say scouting. I actually applied for a new show and didn't quite get that. Then, all, then I was um, in the line for Too Hot to Handle. Oh, oh yeah, I remember you saying. Got on that, but the French guy, the French model guy that won it, took my place. But then the producers. Thought that written in the stars was better for me, so they put me there. How do you feel about that? Yeah, no, good. Yeah, really yeah. good. Yeah, I, yeah good. I, like, I, I always wanted to experience the sort of like being in a villa with random strangers mm, yes, for a couple yes, of few, yeah. few weeks, and you know, you re- it really yeah. tests yourself. Amazing. Because you came in midway through, didn't you? Yeah, I was. Uh, what do you call it? A replacement. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you call it when you turn up? Uh, Surprise. Cameo. No. no. We t- bombshell. Bombshell, oh, yeah, yeah. Bombshell. Yeah. Yeah. He's a bomb. Yeah, I was a bombshell. Now your entrance is great. I went in and fucked shit up. You looked well, uh, you looked <laughs> as if you were ready. I remember you yeah, coming in, I was like, he looks like he's ready to uh, have a fun before. Yeah. yeah, cause some <laughs> yeah, mischief. But to be fair, like the isolation beforehand was absolute, that was the hardest part. How long was it? 
10 days. Yeah. <laughs> they kept saying, don't worry, you're going in tomorrow, you're going in tomorrow, was tomorrow because, come. Was that because of COVID or just because that's how the show ran? COVID all, isn't it? I think it was COVID isolation, yeah. but I, I don't really understand because some of them was in the villa already, but it I is what it is anyway. Yeah. So it's not I was only in for five days for my one. And yeah. It, it, did they do the same thing where you're you're sort of giving your meals, you've, you've got- To the door. Fuck, you're not, no phone. Yeah, no phone. Yeah, literally. No Gre- phone. Greek Nothing. TV. Greek TV. We, we lucky had the fire stick. <laughs> oh, so, what? Uh, thank fuck they gave no it to us. No way. They How cheaped you out there. No. <laughs> Greek TV. Mate, I was literally like, I was, yeah. There was hard times there. <laughs> you can imagine, no <laughs> magazines. Did you bring books? I had like, yeah, I was reading my aviation book. I read it probably about five times. I read three oh books. And I was just doing push-ups and press-ups, like not <laughs> knocking myself out. Like, Four workouts I, a day. I, I snuck out a few times. Did you? <laughs> just to get to the sun. Yeah, it's crazy. Cause yeah. they have to come, chaperone comes, walks you down yeah, yeah, yeah. for breaks and that. But I'll just, I'll just stand outside the front door. <laughs> I was literally chasing insects and stuff. It was yeah. so boring, bro. Fuck like man. the weather woman was on TV, and I was like, "Turn around, turn yeah. around." Yeah. <laughs> like, literally nothing else to do. Man. So, yeah, sort of isolation was yeah. And, and but I mean, it looked like it was uh, like a it looked like it was hot. To, like the weather was great. It, it, it went up, like, it went up to like, forty like, degrees. That's what it looked like. Yeah, man. Beautiful. I was looking burnt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, and and you just imagine you're awesome. outside all the time in the villa. Yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. in the garden, so you're just catching them rage. You're jumping into the pool. I saw Thames was toasty mm-hmm. oh mate he was proper brown he man. Yeah. 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 he was toasty yeah, yeah. It was, but, yeah. but the sh- you know like the team the welfare team they're so good like they? Uh, yeah they make they have a list of how many times you drink water and, they, and if you haven't drunk a certain amount by a certain time they'll say like you gotta drink That's water so they're constantly putting sun cream on you and everything so but now something I've always wanted to know scripted versus non-scripted mm. I mean I don't know if you can answer this good question, question. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's fine. I mean like what is the deal because some of these reality shows you think to yourself yeah. there's no fucking way this is happening yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, like, yeah like like naturally so like what's the deal with the no it's not scripted but it's um guided yeah. no it's not guided <laughs> they see how you naturally get on but like wait, what you've got to remember is you have no phone you they put you in a natural well, it's not it's an unnatural circumstance yeah, unnatural but as it, it, do you ever remember the sims ah yeah man. right i i i think it's like the sims you know like and you say go over there and like, yeah, yeah. so they'll be like go over there and you start like, they'll say go and go and chat to you Ali so yeah, I'll go over there like and then you're like too. right what do I talk about yeah. but yeah, you yeah. just make you just find something to talk about I was going to say that that's something um, which I can relate to is we were I think our shows are pretty similar in terms of layout but yeah. you would if you I was I'm one of those people who is not an extrovert you seem like you maybe are yeah mm. I forget the difference introvert extrovert someone who's just got they can just blend in with anyone oh yeah yeah I'm ad- I can adapt yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. as like a reptile yes yeah, exactly yeah, yeah, like yeah, a, what's the one <laughs> um, Chameleon is it? Chameleon, yeah. yeah. Chameleon. They change colour, don't they? Dance. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, and I'm like, I can't quite change colour. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> but it was. I think you're right. It's, it's when you would get awkward in a conversation, or be like, I don't want you'd go, oh, I'll have to talk to them. There's nothing yeah, else yeah, yeah. instead of That's reaching for your phone. Yeah, yeah. I think at yeah. the end of the day, it's kind of an, it's an unnatural setting for everyone. It is. So yeah. Everyone's on the equal footing. Yeah, so, exactly. I'd say yeah. so. Yeah. But fun as fun as fuck. No, it's brilliant. Really good. Yeah. Like you really learn yourself. Like it's you know yeah. like it's like yeah that that it's, I call it an experiment. Like it was yeah, they it was something it, unreal. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah they it's an experiment. You know, because like I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't normally go for. Mm. My, that that they matched me with, but I found a really good friend. <laughs> no, normally because it, it goes by charts, right? Yeah. So they, you know, you sort of tell them, you know, like what you what your exes look like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and then they they will go opposite that. Do you know what I mean? But they match you through the yeah. charts. That's something I, I wish that it, it, there's one of these things where you think Americans, for example, mm. going on shows, it's like they're primed and ready. Yeah. As English, don't. And going yeah. on, I think when you ask questions like, tell us what you're like what you're into what you want to go oh, it's hard. I wish it's hard you work. would lie and do the opposite so you get what you want yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's true actually yeah, yeah, that's really yeah true. but then I think wouldn't that make it a bit boring it would be interesting then right no I'd fucking love it I think I think, I think, I think, they, I think they've got their games the psychology on the show is crazy yeah yeah right? because I think what makes it but interesting I, is how you adapt with, 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 with the situation yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like for that's instance like the diary room 
the diary room. What's you go in there yeah, and yeah. they they like they get they like arch oh, you so but I'm like I always remember in the back of my head like what the angle is yeah, and what I actually meant. Um so yeah that's, no, you just, that's the good thing about it because you do yeah. something and then they get you to talk about mm. it. So you actually start learning like why the fuck did I do that? Because like, I, I wanted to ask you, you know, like on the show they had like moments where the uh, coaches whatever would like yeah. deliberate like together. D- 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 is that what it looked like? Like when they're like sitting down like on this chair like talking about you guys. Yeah, yeah, really but the thing is, like, um, they've done that behind the scenes, really. Mm. So they'd have meetings, and they'd, but they'd watch us to the 24 hours. Yeah, they'd yeah. watch us on camera, and then they start working out your character, and then they start helping you. They're like, yeah, you need yeah. to do that. You need to stop this. So, they're like, oh, you have problems when you're younger. Like, they, they really, whoa. yeah, like it was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're like, fuck, how did you know that? <laughs> but yeah, where the fuck did yeah. you get that? Yeah. Yeah. So, so did everyone really buy into it, honestly? I don't think everyone did, no, yeah, but but, but when not. you look back at it, like they did, they, they there was mm. some success in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like some people were just completely reluctant to it, but like some people really. That would have been me. Yeah, that yeah. Been too. But I think no, it's interesting. You, you say that now. You say I was totally against astrology. Really. And then obviously, because they they put me into one corner, and there's like you talk about go, you know, speak to Michael because he didn't believe in astrology. Either. Yeah. So we end up having a 20 minutes conversation about why we don't think astrology works. Brilliant. Yeah. I love that. But it does work, like uh, personality wise. Yeah, like with my match, like filled in stuff that I never had in the previous league. Oh, so really? like, yeah, 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 no. So like personality-wise, mm. was on paper was yeah. perfect. That's incredible. Yeah, it's, it's, it must. I mean, the whole experience must have been wicked. The villa no, was good. The, the oh, the villa was great. sick. Like there's like a hundred people working at once. Like a massive crew. Wow. Massive. Really. Massive. Absolutely massive, man. That's crazy because you obviously you would never think that because it oh. just looks like it's you. It looks like no one's there. There's a yeah. big gallery. All the producers. You know, all the welfare team mm. plus the cast. Massive, massive, massive. Wow. And did you get to go outside? Medical the villa? team and all that. You know. Oh, really. Damn. I remember once I had something in my eye. Oh, it was horrible. And I went to see the medical. And Think I. I was, <laughs> I've never ever tried an eye wash like for the first time. That she was like, put this on. I was like, I don't want to put it's some a weird feeling. Well, honestly, it? that was the best. Well, I got better eyesight after that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the hell was on my eye? Like, yeah. But yeah. now, um, you guys are in separate bedrooms, right? No. no, no yeah, separate couples. bedrooms each, but they, your match is in there. That's bit. what I mean, because I, I, on the other shows I've seen, it's normally like a big room. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, the level upstairs was, I think, 10 beds downstairs, yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 or something. Yeah, so yeah, I presume yeah. like everyone was smashing, honestly. No, well, I think, yeah, a couple of the people were, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Temps. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. See you, Temps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's mad. So yeah, done all, right, all round yeah. wicked experience. Yeah, really good, really good. And like, then coming out of the villa, now you are setting up something very cool. Yeah, very yeah, cool. Yeah, Tell so, us about um, that. Yeah, I've actually well uh, became Mr. Tinder in 2017. Got the accolade, most swipe man. Um, what? And, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa! Back up. You can't yeah, just yeah, yeah. This. Oh, most swipe man, man 2017. What does that mean? I was the most swiped right man on Tinder. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's fucking cool. Yeah. How the fuck? Congrats. That's fucking cool. So, so what I've done from that is um, I used to get people message me and be like, oh, oh can you do my Tinder profile or whatever. <laughs> so I was like, I used to just do it to friends and stuff. Yeah. And then it got like got to a certain time where the numbers kept going up. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to charge 25 quid because uh, it takes half an hour of my time. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so I was, I was like, you know, charging people 25 pounds. Wow. And then one day I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a business. I started using no. AI quite a lot to do general things in life yeah. and I like started just randomly like using AI prompts and stuff and mm. it started working I was like Jesus so I've got loads of when AI you say, oh, yeah, prompts where you type in so yeah, was, yeah so basically my business now is called uh, the celebrity love coach yes dot co dot UK click here yeah yeah um, and it's basically uh, I don't know I've got to think of the right word it's uh, <laughs> I'm genetic uh, ge- genetically unblessed people <laughs> love it right? That's so great. what that means is um, they'll come to me and we use AI prompts I've got a I've actually got an app coming out now um, so Amazing. you can go straight from Instagram or you know Facebook yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can um, have our, our app will AI generate you oh, yeah, go into the, the pictures you have already which allow you to match your that's demographic that you actually cool. fancy Yeah. so yeah that's very going really cool. well so for instance we'll launch you for six or seven pictures yeah. um, this is part of the subscription service mm. and then we will generate 
uh, using clever AI prompts, 40 to 45 AI generated pictures to help enhance your profile. And then we'll also use AI to edit your bios as well. But then the success rate's crazy, by the way. I can imagine. And it's not catfishing. We're definitely going to say, I'll give that well. I was going to say, awesome. like, I was gonna say then, like, what happens when they meet the person? Yeah, so we do and like. They obviously, look enhanced. Like, do you have any. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're saying. No, Just, does it enhance? I mean, it's very photos? slight. It's very slight. I've got. I could show you if you want. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's quite interesting. Before, before you do, I want to go back to the. the so, Miss. Because I remember seeing. I think I read the you article. years before. ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. pretty certain it I read it. massive the, worldwide. I think I hit, like, every news desk like in the wow. world like yeah viral in America or Australia so going off that what would you say is um, so I'm, I'm uh, let's say I'm on hinge we'll go for hinge what would make a typical don't swear <laughs> bumble <laughs> Thursday um, so say I'm on tinder what would you advise me to do to make sure I get Creme. Well, I actually yeah. found a little hack, um, okay. and it's quite cool. This worked, you know, and it wasn't just for dating; it actually worked well for business as well. Yeah. Good. And I'll Definitely. tell you how. Yeah. Always. So, like, what you do is you pay for, you know, Tinder Plus. Yeah. It's like eight ninety nine or whatever. Yeah. Mm. But what that allows you to do is move your pin around. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so you, what you could do, let's say you wanted to date a doctor, yeah, mm. in America, LA, yeah. Yeah. You'd move your pin to like a hospital. Google or private yeah. private hospital or whatever. Uh, drop your pin in there. And then set your proximity to one kilometre. Write something a little bit medical related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the chance of you swiping a doctor or a surgeon. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah. This. And it works great for business as well. Like I want to headhunt someone that works for Barclays Bank, for instance. Where and can you do it walk. on Tinder? Yeah, yeah. So, but you'll probably match their secretary, won't you? That's or their TA. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. But I know, it's a bit. Yeah. That's, that's a but fucking it's, good yeah, tip. Yeah, it's quite cool. So, so I'm going to be uh, on Tinder after this then. 100%. <laughs> Are you single then? Yeah. Yeah, 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 single, single. Oh. We're both single. You're both single, yeah. Mm. See, there we go. So maybe we've got the right man. You on don't the show need right AI now. though. You don't need AI. Either. Hit me up. No, we do. We do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll definitely be using it. Now, is, is this a book? Uh, tell me what. what yeah, what? so um, I've got a book that I'm giving away when people subscribe. It just it's just got a few tips and that. So it's about you, forty pages long. So but are you the British Hitch? I would say that I'm the modern version of the Hitch. Yeah. Come no, on, nice. and if you haven't, I'm much cooler. And if you haven't watched Hitch, watch fucking Hitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a pickup artist, so yeah. yeah, yeah I wouldn't exactly. say I'm quite happy. Right? I'm, so, I'm quite smooth. Do you remember the email I mean, the pickup artist? The which one? The, the game. The pickup artist. Was there was, yeah, yeah, I watched that yeah, as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The book, okay, the game. Quite, pretty suave. Have you read the book, the game? I haven't watched so that, it. That blew um, up it. in, um, God, it was probably 2015. Oh, and yeah. It was huge. And it was, the idea was basically there was a guy called Mystery who was the chat up artist, pickup oh, artist. Yeah. And, oh, God, I remember this. Yeah, and this psychology, isn't it? All the lads read it and were like, I'm a pickup. And it basically just, the idea was bring a woman's self confidence down so you you oh, wow. and I was like yeah. oh no that's Fucking terrible, terrible. Yeah, so that's terrible. so much it's, manipulation it's, it's right. big time so yeah, that, got, that got chewed out very very quickly that's by what people do in business human. as well don't they yeah, they start yeah. Yeah. make them feel so shit yeah negging you know I mean? it's like yeah, it makes you feel like it's, it then they make them work harder for less money so so what's what's next so you've got these this AI tools coming out it's, is it out yeah yeah no we're working on it so we've been using it in the back end to like for our clients but we're actually actually building an interface so like yeah. people can like download Through it. An app. Hopefully on Monday it'll be ready. Wow, for Monday. People to actually use. But we give it away free if you're a subscriber, which is 45 quid. Wow, fuck, yeah, that's exciting. A month. Yeah. And, then, and then it gives you fresh tips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so so we will give you, we'll do your profiles. We get a one on one um, session on Zoom with me for half an hour. Nice. Um, I, I check in with what? you every now and again. There's like this groups. Is fucking on wild. Telegram. Your TikTok hand is Mr. Tinder, isn't it? Yeah, it, yeah. Isn't yeah, that yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I might you, change that though. If you guys want to get laid, <laughs> talk to contact the Mr. Tinder. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, true. Rephrase, if, you you want a, if you want a relationship. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, more long term relationships, not Sorry, flings, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you have to fling, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so mate, that's, that's amazing. Good luck with that. Exactly. Um, yeah, no, definitely send us some clips and we'll pop it. Yeah, over no, hundred well. percent. I'm on. Yeah. So now you're fully into that. That's the business charging down that line. Yeah, yeah it's good. It keeps me busy. I love helping people out. Yeah. Like, I can you tell. know, like the smiles that you get when when you've actually when the success rate's good. Like that makes me happy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, doing that bit of music as well at the moment. Oh yeah. Just finishing a song with DJ Ironic. Um, oh, DJ yeah, Ironic. Like summer tune, sort of nice. like I beef for Ocean Beach vibes. Do you know? Yes. So are you on the vocals or more like? Yeah, the music? 
Because, yeah, yeah, I'm a rap, rap like, yeah, I'd say So rapper. the man's yeah. a, a singer, rapper? Rapper, yeah. Okay. Singer. Yeah. Behind All around, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Pink Pinkfluencer. Oh, Pinkfluencer user. And a oh, yeah, Pinkfluencer user. <laughs> I am. Yeah. I've downloaded the app. It's nice. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, thanks fa- fa- for the privileges. Mate, no, you, yeah, I mean, you've exactly. unlocked them. You have unlocked them. It's, it's quite good with uh, Pinkfluencer because it's, for someone like you, yeah. you can now experience the city. your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hassle free, amazing nice. places. And it's really good for the one thing which we want to push is date nights. Oh, yeah. Because it's so good. There's some of the venues like Hajingo, which we went to with yeah. VA. Okay. Incredible nice. places. You guys went on a date together? Uh, Great date. <laughs> Great date. <laughs> we did. It was, it was a housemate date. Mind, mind blowing day. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a good time. <laughs> good. We'll have to nice. tell you that we're going to do a Hajingo event. So, the, yeah. back to the music. You're, like, you're, you're producing a song. Or yeah, no, I'm producing. So, I run it's producing. Wow. It. Um, yeah, First cool. one? No, second one. Second I've got one out now on all the platforms called Girls Go Mad. In fact, that's the second one. I've got three. I've yeah. worked on a few, but release I had one called Swipe Right, which was a bit gimmicky. People love it. Mate, yeah. but, lean into it. But because I wanted to become more of a serious artist, actually, mm. we actually deleted it. Okay. But it's still on YouTube if you want to check it out. Okay. Um, Swipe Right. But then the next one I done was called Girls Go Mad, which was like a garage sort Perfect. of like yeah. It reminds you, you get that nostalgic feeling of like when Garage came out when you were younger. It, was, it does give you that nostalgia. Isn't it? Especially yeah. in England, garage was, was it big in South Africa? No, 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 no. It's true. Really, yeah. South Africa, we have I'm a piano. Oh, cool. I have no idea what that means. I have no idea what that it's is. It's fucking dope. And we've got to <laughs> take your word for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> we've got the Safra <laughs> audience now. Fuck <laughs> yeah. No, good. Yeah, yeah amazing. Um, and then obviously we're working on this new one, which is yeah, in the wow. mix. It's cooking. Mate, it's cooking. How, exciting. How yeah, do you keep up with all these ventures? Man, I just do. I think I've got ADHD. I'm like everywhere, like, like always doing what I love. I don't just, like sitting don't down. You have the same 24 hours that we do. Yeah. No, no, but I don't like routine. To be yeah. Honest. Do you not? No. I find it very hard to stay because I think we're definitely riddled with ADHD. Like, yeah. I, I cannot stick to routine. No, no, don't say we. Don't, yeah. Yeah. Don't I can't diagnose it. myself. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. but you definitely. know what I mean? Yeah, my sister said to me like, Steph, when you start something, you never finish it. And she was referring to my room not being cleaned. <laughs> so yeah, I remember that in my head. So like now when I start something, I try and finish it. It's very simple things. Yeah. Unless you, you know, start the washing up, finish it. Yeah. Start hoovering That's the room, ADHD, finish it. Uh, so, like, yeah. So, yeah. so I just say, like, yes, but I start something. I think it's the same for projects because it's very uh, juggling projects. I love having the freshness of something. And it's, yeah. it's sometimes yeah, something I get the new buzz. comes. Yeah, it's like yeah, something yeah, new yeah. comes around. You're like, oh, yeah. oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I, so that's why I'm quite worried because like, if that wears off and I ain't got something new to go to, I'm going to be yeah, fighting gonna, bored. Yeah, you're I just love bored. making new things. Yeah, like, yeah, boom, yeah. I'm off to the next. And it's exhilarating, isn't it? And yeah, it's, oh, you will though. You'll always have something new. I think I'll just be like buying new cars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, yeah, I want a new Lamborghini Urus. Yeah, yeah I, I want a new Ferrari <laughs> 458. So tell me, is your business UK based only, or like in the states? No, worldwide. I've actually worldwide. got clients in Canada, America, LA, no, everywhere, no, everywhere no, all no, over. So the app's going to be available worldwide. Oh yeah, that would be yeah. Very cool. That, that's and, and, that's and, really and exciting. That's, that's sick. And it's called the Celebrity Love Coach. CelebrityLoveCoach.co.uk. Very, very cool. So yeah, so check it out. Yes, do. Check it out. Links everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, he knows the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> so, where is it? Up there? Up there? Yeah. Over there? <laughs> uh, so I guess I was going to say what's next this is next this is the big thing yeah this is it I'm Amazing. putting most of my energy into this any holidays booked any chill out time uh, yeah going off to Portugal uh, nice. June sometime we're about um, to Vera my sister lives there oh wow yeah, I, was there not re- I was there recently with uh, family we got a villa that was sick but yeah I would be booked for June uh, spend some more time with the family nice. it's cool I just get a flight over 100 quid cheap um, yeah. stay with sister yeah good to go Amazing. man and the weather is so much better than here yeah. oh my god <laughs> Oh so much better. You wake up, you've got sunshine, you've got the beach. Everyone's happier. Yeah. Everyone's just happier. Good for your skin. You come back, you look glowing, oh. recharged. Yeah, really. yeah. This country does get draining. It yeah. is exhausting. It's, it's, I think that's my theory as to why England is the biggest, well, one of the most powerful countries in the world, or used to be. Yeah, because it's um, bloody raining. Yeah, because everyone's <laughs> like, well, I can't fucking go outside, so I may as well work, produce something amazing. That's true, yeah, that's innovative. true. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. true, that makes yeah. sense. You've yeah. got to yeah. find innovative ways to not be bored. That's the and, thing, uh, you live in LA, you live in a hot country, you don't get absolutely anything done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, right. Let me, let me that. get a mojito. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sex on the that. beach. <laughs> hey, at Cape Town, uh, so Viway's uh, from Cape Town, and when you go there, it's like Friday, one o'clock. Everyone's on the beach oh, already. Oh, wow, yeah, mate. Yeah. It's a fucking beach town. It's like vibes. Every day is vibes. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. It's what like, made yeah. you come here then? 
Um, for work opportunity. For work. Yeah. <laughs> Pink for, what is work? What is? Pink Fluence. Working with Pink. Pink Fluence. Yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. So Vway is the Vway is the big sales machine behind yeah. Pink Fluence. Perfect. So yeah, he's, yeah, he's me up on LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a LinkedIn bio page. Do you, do you, do you, do you, that's a good topic to go on to. Do you ever, so LinkedIn's an interesting, yeah. it's technically that, a social media. How does that yeah. work for your business? Yeah, good, yeah, I use LinkedIn, I've used it, yeah, I've got long bio and yeah, yeah, yeah. About my history. I, I, like I said, I've done a lot of sales mm. um, through my, apart from the media stuff, I've yeah. always been in sales. Mm. Um, so yeah, I've got all my sales. So I worked in recruitment for a bit, so you know, change it around for recruitment, yeah, whatever yeah. you do. But yeah, it's great to connect. You know, you can really like, it's a bit like the trick of the hack that I taught you. Yeah. You know, like when you search one person on LinkedIn, it sort of comes up with all the mutuals, yeah, of course. people that work in the same company now. Oh, I like that one, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they start talking about you, I've got an ad. So, yeah, it works really well for me. It's, it's, it's in marketing. Yeah. It is a brilliant tool because you can you can contact anyone. Now you have to pay for the premium. Yeah, bastards. yeah. But yeah, you can literally get any contact you need at any company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, quick one, did you grow up in London? Yeah, yeah, I'm from South East London. Nice. Born in Greenwich. Amazing, so you are a London boy through and London through. London Geezer. London yeah. Geezer. And, and currently you still reside in London, obviously. Yeah, well, I'm mm. sort of North London. Okay, yeah. any plans to maybe live in Ibiza? Uh, I'm, really I'm, I'm, I'm kind of I'm flying. I'm flying I, I think there's a big trend here for people to live in Ibiza. Yeah, nah. For like, I remember the last time I was in Ibiza. No, it wasn't the last. The second to last time. I've been there eight times. Yeah. And I think you're English. Maybe four of them. <laughs> four or five of them. I flew back on the scheduled flight. Yeah, I was going to say, no, 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 we will go there because at half yes, of my we'll Ibiza holidays, yeah. I've got the next flight or another flight. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. It's the only place in the world where you genuinely, you're having so much fun. Yeah, yeah, fun, yeah. Fun. And you're like, I'm going to extend. Yeah. I keep, I keep hearing people missing their flights in Ibiza. You'll miss your yeah, first yeah, time yeah. you go, Is you'll that miss your flight. That's basically the They must make a fortune from people who the planes go about half empty. Yeah. <laughs> You don't miss, you do what me and my son did. Imagine the pilot missed his flight. <laughs> <laughs> Just having a stash. Me, me and V Way were in uh, Thailand recently and uh, we missed our train. We didn't, we just realised we're going to have too much fun. Oh, right. So, <laughs> nice. Stay for the night. Stay oh, that shit. night turned to be the biggest night we had in our life. Oh, yeah. wow. It was, it was uh, story time that's, coming oh, soon. Oh, wow. It was uh, hectic. But that's it cost you a lot to change your flight. So. No, because no. the same with this is what I think is, is good, good about Ibiza is you change your flight and it can be like 60 quid. Oh, um, nice. But yeah. Bali, it's the grand. Uh, we've yeah. got a good story. A friend of ours, um, Adam, I'll name him. Absolutely. Uh, shame, Adam. Yeah, shame on Name you. and shame. <laughs> <laughs> he had a flight to Australia booked and he managed to... <laughs> managed to miss it oh wow uh, he was at the airport missed it and then he booked a uh, rebooked a single, a single. Yeah. but then his mum went oh you, you can't do that because they cancel if you miss your one out they cancel your leg back so he then oh. had to pay another single back no way so up like I didn't know grand. that yeah neither did I oh, before shit. he left he threw he spent four and a half thousand pounds why would they cancel it because they know you didn't go well I think because they're, they're just mugs no no I, I think it's one booking so if you miss oh. the flight oh. your booking then becomes cancelled oh wow so the poor guy before he oh, even wow. left oh, on his wow. vacation yeah, was yeah, 4k yeah. Oh, that's, that's annoying 4K yeah. Down. Yeah. shit that's that's a lot of money. Isn't it? Thanks, what they do? Resell the ticket and get another thousand pounds. Well, exactly. What? They're probably going to sell that. They should refund you. Yeah, literally. I think if you have a good enough reason, they do. Depends on your airline. I don't know. It depends. Some airlines on, are really good. Yeah, some airlines. I guess if you book through the airline, you have more well, privileges. Well, his, re his reason was that he didn't have a visa. Oh, yeah. oh right. <laughs> Fair enough. He did his visa at the airport and it took three hours and his oh. flight was in three hours. Oh, right. So yeah, it takes, did it take 24 hours? <laughs> yeah, 20, uh, or longer? I think it's a visa on arrival. So, like, you do it. But obviously, he never knew. Oh. Yeah, yeah so he fucked it. He oh, fucked man. The oh, but we still love you, Adam. Sorry, Adam. Adam, we still dig you, my brother. Uh, Stay cool. So yeah, I, can't, I mean that's. I'm, I'm thinking we've pretty much wrapped up everything. Yeah, cool. So we've got with Stefan now. We're doing the full work. So we're going to be going. We're at the Magaro Hotel, which is a beautiful Lovely. hotel in Kings beautiful Cross. Place. Stefan's going to be staying the night, and we are going to be taking him to dinner at a place called Magenta, which is a beautiful restaurant. Um, footage is coming soon, and then I've had some bar. snacks already, and they oh. are creepy sick. They're good. Right? Creepy yeah. sick. Creepy Fuck sick. Yes. And then. Very down to right. Hocus Pocus for some booze. Um, cheeky cocktail. Cheeky chocolate cocktail or two. Yeah. So mate, thank you so much. No worries, man. Nice really good to know you, man. Mate, pleasure. And uh, we roll. Let's go. Cool.